Welcome back YouTube, how are you doing today? And I've got some shocking news for you. It has been two years, yes, two years, I know, it's amazing, two years since I last played Fallout 4 on the Gaming Play series. Two years, I can't believe that, that but we're about to rectify that today. And to spice things up, we are going to use the sarcasm option in the dialect box wherever possible and um, just see what happens. I have never really... I've played with that uh, dialect a little bit, but not a lot. We're going to do it pretty much 100% in this gameplay where it's appropriate. And uh, yeah, let's head over to the Commonwealth and see what mischief we can get into. It is fantastic to be back in Sanctuary Hills. I'll give you a quick look sure, around. Hi oh, Marcy, how are you doing? The first person to talk to me had to be Marcy, didn't it? How you doing, Marcy? Lovely outfit, love. Um, yeah, so I thought I'd give you a look around before we get into it. Still got my T-51B torso, gay uh, armor, duvalaki. Just give... Yeah, Mama Murphy, yeah, good on you. Yeah, well, somebody was just shooting up some jet up there. This is my wee home. I haven't changed it whatsoever. There's all my bubble heads. Yeah. Got a few magazines around the place. Yep. And so I've got a lot of, lot of little kind of containers all over the place holding all kinds of stuff. Look at that big fester. Yeah, my bubble head. I can't grab it. Yep. So, yeah, pretty. Uh, I haven't done much with the house. As you can see, you boarded up a few windows. All my rusty old armor sitting at the back. I've got, a, I picked up a bit of power armor during my trips in the last kind of 30 plus episodes um, if you want to see my uh, weapons I actually did do a video on my weapons but today we are going to go to Cambridge police station and we are going to go and join the Brotherhood of Steel so let's do that and um, yeah see you in a sec Okay, so here we go. I'm going to talk to the paladin. So I will wait, warn you that it is a little bit of. Uh, oh, hi, friend. How you doing? You must have spent a whole case of ammo holding this site. So it is going to be a little bit dialect heavy in this first episode, and then we'll get into some action in episode two, because we're going to join the Brotherhood. Paladin dance. Glad to see you alive and well, sir. Are we in luck, sir? Mission accomplished. We have the transmitter. Finally, Excuse me. Hello. Good news for a change. Nice work, sir. I didn't do it alone. Had some help from our new friend. I've offered him a place on our team, but I'm not sure he's willing to accept. In the meantime, he's welcome to take shelter here, as long as he doesn't get in our way. Speak to I don't. There's, There's still a place for you, good brother. You Shut up, Reese. I don't armor. like Reese at all. Oh, man. What are you doing? I love that sound. Go away, man. I like you. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but I do not like him. What would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. So, what do you say? I'd be honored to join. Then that settles it. Aelin, Reese. It's time to welcome our newest recruit to the Brotherhood. He shows a lot of promise, and with the proper guidance, I think he has the potential of becoming one of the best. Oh, it's time for sarcasm. I'm only in it for the spiffy <laughs> uniforms. Oh yeah? And here I thought you joined up for a sense of purpose and meaning. So you decided to stay, huh? I expected you to take your payment and run. Come on, Reese. Let's hug it out. Let's just hug this out and get it over. <laughs> here. What do you say? You can come play on, friend. You want, tough guy. It's gonna take a lot more than completing come on, one Reece, mission. Come on, Reese. We cuddle, mate. Reese, that's <laughs> enough. Like it or not, you're going to have to learn to. Let's work just together. stare the man. And you, you need to understand what it means to be a part of the Brotherhood. We're not soldiers of fortune. We're an army, and we've dedicated our lives to uphold a strict code of ethics. If you intend to stay within our ranks. You need to obey our tenets without question. Okay, okay. Relax. 
Understood. Outstanding. Since I know you're eager to get started, I'll get right to the point. I only ask for two things from anyone under my command. Honesty and respect. You fall in line, you stay in line. I give you an order, and you follow it. It's as simple as that. There's one last order of business I wanted to get out of the way. I'm going to recommend you to be awarded the rank of knight. Now, nothing's official until you speak to Elder Maxon, but I wanted you to be the first to know. Thank you. Thanks aren't necessary. Just continue excelling at your duties, soldier. Ad Victorium, Knight. He doesn't even know what that means, Halen. Ad Victorium means to victory. In our eyes, defeat is unacceptable. Because we're fighting for the future of mankind. Our rallying cry is more powerful than any weapon you could ever carry. Remember that. Now, I've received orders that we're both to report to the Pridwin. However, if you want to run a few ops for Scribe Halen or Knight Reese first, they could certainly use your assistance. I'll leave the choice up to you. Let me know when you're ready to mount. Yeah, not screw the little side oh, missions. The here. Especially for Reese. Energy readings we picked up. I must, must have, have looted this place already. Yeah. Let's just go straight to the Pridwin. Where are you? Pa Hello, Dance. Hello. Oh, you're right there. Means we better prep this place in case someone smarter than a pack of ferals decides we're a target. Amen to that. Paladin Dance. Are you ready to head up to the ship? Yes, of course. Yeah, can't wait to get up there. I felt the same way the first time I saw it, too. We call our ship the Pridwin. She's loaded with enough troops and supplies to mount a major offensive. If she's here, Elder Maxon's here. And that means we're going yeah. to Gonna be a quick war with that thing on our side. Yeah, but for who? That's the plan. If history's proven anything, it's that an overwhelming show of force has a chance of halting a conflict before it begins. That being said, you're about to get to know the Pridwin up close Ooh. and personal. I've received orders that we're both to report to her immediately. Follow me up to the roof of the police station. We're going for a little ride. I can tell you already, I'm getting a... Uh, I think this is a bad, bad decision, but, you know, we'll go with it. I want the shiny power on, and I want some new shiny power on or so. Hey. So what about... Ooh, where are you going? Okay. I can't even work. Something happens with the door. See, yeah, the open isn't... Hello? Let me... Hello? Paladin? Hello. Oh, there we go. We're good now. So what I have done is I've cut out a lot of the transitions into the vertebrate we go. Yay! To infinity and beyond. Why they would have built us Nick's even wings. in here. That minigun in front of you is loaded and ready to fire. If you spot anything hostile during the flight, I suggest you put it to the stance. Make sure you properly identify your targets before you start shooting. We don't want to have any mishaps in fire on the locals. It could be kind of fun. Commonwealth looks, Commonwealth looks completely different from up here, doesn't it? It's fantastic. Look at that. The Commonwealth looks I just said that. Here, doesn't it? it never ceases to amaze me how drastically your perception of the battlefield changes from the air. We're going to need that edge when we take on the incident. They've already proven that they're technologically superior, which means there's no telling what types of weapons they'll have in their arsenal. Hopefully, our air superiority and tactical know-how will make the difference. Now all we have to do is find them. And I'm betting that Elder Maxon will have a plan already in place by the time we arrive. Give me something to shoot. Hello? Blinded by rumors and misinformation. They don't realize that the Brotherhood of Steel is the Commonwealth's last hope for survival. Every man, woman, and child below is in mortal danger. If we fail, it's only a matter of time before the enemy overwhelms the well, population. Isn't... Cleansing the Commonwealth is our duty, and I will gladly spill my own blood if it ensures our victory. Isn't Dance been brainwashed? Talk about taking the party line. You show his people up on the bridge. Here. We're on final approach to the airport. The oh, hang on. Somebody's taking pot shots. 
Lancer Captain Kells on the flight deck. Just stick close to me and answer all of his questions. Oh, I can't see them. Oh, oh, hello. Those are people people that disagree with you, Dan. Say, it's the USS. What do you call it? So what I intend to do is I'll do faction mi uh, missions. So this one is the Brotherhood, and then we'll do Minutemen, and then we'll do Railroad as we go through the playthroughs. See how it goes for the next few weeks. I've got four episodes um, recorded. If the views are healthy, we'll just keep it going. I do love a little bit of Fallout 4. I love this. It's probably my favourite Fallout game. Of all of them, although New Vegas is up, it's certainly up there. It's the Pridwin. There she is. It's been far too long since I've been aboard. All right, soldier. This is the moment when everything changes. I hope you're ready. I'm ready. Let's do this. Where are we going to land? Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Right, on the Pridwin. The Commonwealth can take a real toll on you if you let it. Eh, uh, how do I get off this... this place make how do I get off the gun? Man. Guys, excuse it. Hello? Oh, um, oh, there we go. How are you, Lancer Dishbag Captain Kells? Welcome back, Paladin. Allow me to be the first to congratulate you on a successful mission. And is this our new recruit? Yes, sir. I have killed the motor him to initiate, and I'd like to sponsor his entry into our rankings personally. Yes, we've read your reports. You'll be pleased to know that Elder Maxon's approved your request to place the recruit in um, Why? Social distancing, Nick. Hello. You are to remain on the prison and await further instructions. Very good, sir. Ad Victorium, Captain. Ad Victorium, Captain. What are you saying, Captain Douchebag? Kells. So. You're the one Paladin Dance has taken under his wing. <laughs> you don't look much like a soldier to me. I think I've already proven that you're wrong. A Brotherhood soldier earns merit by respecting the ideals created by our Elder. Not by simply killing the enemy and following what orders. What is wrong with this guy? I've read Paladin Dance's reports. He seems to think you'll make a fine addition to the Brotherhood. You might expect an endorsement like that to grant you a great deal of latitude with us. But let me make one thing clear. The Brotherhood of Steel has traveled to the Commonwealth with a specific goal in mind. As the captain of this vessel, I won't allow anyone to jeopardize our mission, no matter how valuable they think they are. Understood? Absolutely. Good. That's all for now. Yes, sir, Captain, captain Sir. Your orders are to proceed to the command deck for the address. You douchebag. After which, Elder Maxon wishes to have a word with you. If you have any questions, ask me now. Otherwise, you're dismissed. Oh, thank you very much for that, douchebag. I don't have any questions. I don't have any questions. Then I suggest you head over to the command deck immediately. Dismissed, initiate. I'm a knight, sir. I'm a knight. Why did they? Why are they so such a bunch of douchebags? Tighten up the meter. Now split the are, are, At least the officers are. Seems that way, doesn't it? Anyway, all good. <laughs> Maybe I need to do a gaming rants video on how much a douchebag they are. Douchebags they are. Oh, who's this guy up here? Brothers and sisters, the road behind has been long and fraught with difficulty. Each and every one of you has surpassed my expectations by rapidly facilitating our arrival in the Commonwealth. You have accomplished Hi friend, this amazing my name is G4, how are you doing? Without a hint of purpose or direction. Hello, G4, how are you doing? And most impressively, G4, hello, uh, question, hi. Now that the ship is in position, it is time to reveal our purpose and 
are beneath the Commonwealth. There Ooh, is a campus here, known as the Institute. You do some into them, dog. A malignant growth that needs to be cut before it infects the surface. They are Hi, friend. Have you met my dog? Dangerous technologies. How you doing? It could prove Hi. to be the world's undoing for the second time in recent history. The Institute scientists have created a weapon that transcends the destructive nature of the atom bomb. They call their creation the Sin. A robotic abomination of technology that is free-thinking and masquerades as a human being. This notion that a machine could be granted free will is not only offensive, but horribly dangerous. And like the atom, if it isn't harnessed properly, it has the potential of rendering us extinct as a species. I am not prepared to allow the Institute to continue this line of experimentation. Therefore, the Institute and their sins are considered enemies of the Brotherhood of Steel and should be dealt with swiftly and mercilessly. This campaign will be costly and many lives will be lost. But in the end, we will be saving humankind from its worst enemy. Itself. Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Ad Victorium! Yeah, whatever, whatever, dude. You think the Commonwealth looks bad? Every feral you should see the capital wasteland. Elder Maxon? I care about them, you know. The people of the Commonwealth. Bullshit. If you say so. I can understand your indecisiveness. Turning your weapons on the very same people that you're trying to save can be a bitter pill You care about swallow. power, sir. You care about power. What do you want from me? I want you to start taking responsibility for this planet. To start making a difference. And from what I've read in Paladin Dance's reports, you've already begun that journey. Seeing as he's one of my most respected field officers, you couldn't get a better recommendation. Therefore, from this moment forward, I'm granting you the rank of knight. And, befitting your title, we're granting you a suit of power armor to protect you on the field of battle. Wear Thank you, pride. sir. Thank you very much. A knight? A knight? <laughs> what is this? The Dark Ages? Judging from the state of the world, it wouldn't be a stretch to say we're living in that era again. In any event, once you're finished becoming familiar with the Pridwin and my staff, report to the flight deck for your new orders. Welcome aboard the Pridwin, soldier. Ooh, what Make happened to your hand? It, it, it kind of... ooh. Something a bit weird there. I'll take your clipboard, though. Communications array yeah, calibration so long as you're successful. successful. All bands nominal. Yeah, well, uh, I tell you what, um, poor old Nick. What's he going to do? They, they want to get rid of the synths. Status report. Green across the board, sir. Nothing new. Good. Carry on, Knight. Okay. You Can I get some of that shiny armor, please? Oh, the uh, Paladin's up here, isn't he? Yeah, here he is. So can I have your? You can I have there. that, please? We've got a lot Thank of you. Work ahead of us, <laughs> Guys, if you haven't watched this playthrough, my playthroughs before, yeah, I steal desk fans. It's a bit of an obsession, unfortunately. Dance. There you are. How did it go? Hey, I'm, on back, I'm over here. Hi, Saint friend. He's a very dedicated Where are you going, man. going, Dance? It sounds like he stands behind everything he's saying. Of course he does. How could he afford not to? I just hope you appreciate how much of a chance I'm taking bringing you into the fold this quickly. Not to put too fine a point on it, but if you screw up, we go down together. Don't worry. I'll be careful. Good. Because we've got a lot of work ahead of us, and I don't want anything slowing us down. Now, I know you're eager to hop into a suit of power armor and take the fight to the Institute. But first things first. In order to be an effective part of the team, you need to learn your way around this ship and get to know its crew. Since I've been officially assigned to you as your sponsor, I'd recommend taking me along with you. Yeah, I think I will because I don't think Nick's safe here, so we're going to send Nick back to Sanctuary Hills, I think. So that means he's he's Sounds our companion good. now Let's go. for a wee bit. Outstanding. Uh, we're going to wear Sanctuary Hills. There, there it is. Oh. Up a bit. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks, Nick. See you later, dude. Stay safe, man. Stay safe.
Yay! Shadow of Steel, level up, blah blah blah. Who are we talking to? Oh, Doctor! D oh! Glad you finally stopped friend, by, soldier. you had soldier. the desk fun. Are you ready for your I medical more, exam? Ooh. As long as it doesn't involve petroleum, jelly, and rubber gloves, <laughs> I'm ready. No, no. This isn't that sort of examination. I'm going to ask you a series of medical-related questions, and I'd like you to answer me to the best of your ability. First question. As a child, were you ever exposed to radiation for an extended period of time? My father said I used to sit way too close to the television. The television? Wait a second. Let me check my notes here. You were a vault dweller? You're probably healthier than anyone cool. else aboard. Anyway, sorry I missed that in your records. Just going down the list of questions. I'm sure you understand. Okay, second question. Have you ever had or come in contact with a person confirmed to be carrying a communicable disease? Never been sick in my life. Never been seriously sick in my life. Good, good. Third question, and please answer. Of course, I'm honestly. answering honestly. Have you ever had sexual relations with any species considered non-human? Well, oh, no. there was this one really ugly girl in college. I mean, I had to get drunk, and it was a dare, and ugh. that hardly qualifies. <laughs> so I'll just put no. Last question: Would you have any problems pulling the trigger on an enemy of the Brotherhood, whether they're human, formerly human, or machine? Well, Nick Fountain aside... If my life's in danger, I'll do whatever it takes to defend myself. That's an acceptable answer. And the most common. Are you calling Excellent. me common? I think I've got all the information I need. I see no reason to prevent you from beginning your duties immediately. If you ever need medical assistance, you let me know. Keep hoarding that garbage, you're going to slow us uh, down. Uh, oh, look, I'm just having a look at the selection the doctor has, okay? I might need that later. Can I get that stim pack? Yep, there we go. Cool. I'll probably not be back here, so I've got to grab his... Please state the nature of your... Oh, no, it's emergency. fine, man. I'm just having a good look around. It's no problem. Don't worry about it. It's cool. It's good. Oh, hi, friend. How you doing? Um, Anything oh, I can take you're from you? Here. Just set the books down anywhere. I'll get to the. I haven't got any books, Quinlan. What? Not even a thank you. I hardly need to. Oh my! Oh my! It appears I've mistaken it's an old Harry Potter. Since it's obvious that you aren't who I was expecting, would you mind telling me why you're here? Just learning my way around the Pridwen. Learning your way around? Ah, I see. You're the new recruit that Paladin Dance described in his report. Under normal circumstances, I'd provide you with a proper orientation of my department. However, I'm woefully behind setting up research patrols and getting bombarded with requests for technical documentation. Unfortunately, I'm lacking the personnel needed to get the job done. Sucks to be you, eh? Maybe I can lend you a hand. That would be splendid. As you patrol the Commonwealth, keep your eyes open for blueprints, memos, manuals, books, charts. Anything containing useful technical data. I'm authorized to pay you for each bundle of documents that you recover. And if you wish to be assigned to a research patrol, I have plenty of them waiting to be filled. In any event, it was a pleasure to meet you, Knight. Was he doing the old elbow shake there? Maybe he knows about COVID. I don't know. Seems like that was what he did. Hello, Paladin. How you doing, friend? Where are we going now? Uh, this way? You're an inspiration to Thank us you. all, Knight. Oh, well. Ooh, right this now. is where the shiny Back stuff is. I'm supposed to report ten minutes and ago. what can we you take? Wonder see. glue. Nice. Okay. You're the one who decided to kick your way through a mire lurk. <clears throat> what else can we take? Got it. Is there anything in there? Duct tape. There Ooh, yes. I like a little bit. Ooh, desk fans for days. Thanks, brother. Wonder glue, fantastic, so much stuff. Oh, hi friend, how you doing? So, you're the new recruit I heard about. Huh, not what I was expecting. I can handle myself. 
Hey, if Paladin Dance vouched for you, that's good enough for me. You just don't look like one of the usual wastelanders we pick up. Anyway, since you came down here to meet me, we may as well get it over with. My name's Ingram, and this lovely little grease pit is where you'll usually find me. If your power armor's too tight in the crotch, the Pridwin's about to crash into the ground, or a robot's gone haywire, you come see me. While you're at it, my car is making this weird grinding noise when I back <laughs> it out of the driveway. <laughs> you're gonna have to take a number. There isn't a day that goes by on this tub without five or six things breaking down. And since I'm stuck in this rig, I'm not quite as spry as I used to be. The work tends to pile up. I hardly noticed. Hmm. Can't tell if you're patronizing me or trying oh, no, to I'm patronizing you. How about I just forget you mentioned it? Anyway, I'm sure or you're here to get your hands on some Whichever. power armor. There's a pretty decent Ooh, T60. T60 suit Is it shiny? Bay three. That's all yours. The left leg actuator is a bit sticky, but oh, yeah, it'll keep It's a bunch of crap, basically. Oh, and if you need any work done on it. Feel free to use the workshops. I haven't got science yet, so <laughs> I can't work me. on it. But anyway, I need to get back to work. Okay. Ooh, is this mine? No, but we can sight steal that one if we want. Get at me, we. Oh, hello, power armor, hopping in. Oh, it's so shiny and new. I love it. T60. Yeah, yeah, winning. I have T60 armor and um, pop vinyl right up in my collection. Hi friend, how you doing Proctor Little Tegan? Boy, brother. Proctor Tegan. Step forward Knight. Even though they've locked me in this blasted cage, I promise that I won't bite. Not really here to chit chat. I had orders to meet the crew. Rules, rules, rules. Everyone around here is so obsessed with the damn rules. I hope you're not another one of those by-the-book military types. Now this is the stowage depot, and I, as you probably already guessed, am the ship's quartermaster, Proctor Tegan. The powers that be have me locked in here, so I can keep an eye on the Brotherhood's valuables. If you need to stock up on supplies before you head out on a mission, this is the place to buy them. So if I'm out of caps, I guess I'll just defeat the enemy with my bare hands. There's plenty of spare ammo and equipment all over the ship. You can help yourself to anything Ooh, you can you find. I can pinch anything I everything want. Everything in here is a bit more specialized and unique. The good news is by having a constant flow of caps, I'm able to buy whatever you bring me. Yeah, I'm mostly interested in weapons, but I'll take anything useful. Of course, if you're just looking to make a few caps on the side, I might have some extra work for you to do. I could use some extra caps. You need them, and I want you to spend them here. It's a match made in heaven. It just involves a little bit of heavy lifting and interacting with the local farms. And since I'm stuck up here manning this one-man zoo, I need someone to do the legwork for me. After you're done with the meet and greet, we can discuss the details. In the meantime, if you ever need anything else, gun, mod, even ammo, you just let me know. So I did do a wee bit of shopping and I picked up a, a mission. When I get off duty, that Salisbury steak is mine. So yeah, he, I don't like, I, there's a number of, as you can see, there's a number of side missions that you can do um, with the Brotherhood and if you want me to do any of those, let me know in the comments down below and I'm happy to pick those up, but yeah. They all seem to have a little bit, I don't know what it is about the Brotherhood of Steel, but they all seem to have a little bit of a chip on the shoulder. Okay. Um, hello? There we go. Okay, where's Maxon? He's not here. We've got to go and talk to him. More, uh, more transitions. Okay, so the final thing we're going to do is go and talk to Maxon. We're going to get a mission, and then we will be finishing up for today. Um, so good to be back. 
Maybe not the best faction to be back with, but anyway. We'll manage. Can't believe Super Hi, friend. Sir. Now that you've familiarized so yourself with the Pridman's crew, are you ready for yes, your next sir, assignment, Captain Sir? Captain Sir. Just point me to the action. I applaud your enthusiasm, Knight. Let's get right to it, then. Shall we? Take a look over there. That's Fort Strong. And it's infested with super mutants. Having those aberrations of nature close enough to smell is making me sick to my stomach. To make matters worse, they're sitting on top of a massive stockpile of fat man shells we could use in our campaign. I want you to head over there, wipe out everything that moves, and secure that stockpile. Understood? Consider it done. Look, I realize you're eager to take the fight to the Institute, but it'll have to wait. The Brotherhood cannot allow those abominations to have a nuclear arsenal at their fingertips. It'll be a pleasure to exterminate that mutant filth. Now, we have a vertebrate on standby, fully armed and ready to depart. Use it to carry our message to Fort Strong and wipe those dirty mutants from the face of the earth. Dismissed. Okay, guys, that'll do it for today. When you come back, we're going to get down and dirty with the super mutants at Fort Strong. If you enjoyed the video today, please leave a like. And uh, you haven't subscribed, please do so. And we'll catch you next time on Fallout 4. See ya!